Tonight, the Senate is still debating the last few details of the $2 trillion stimulus plan. It should eventually have some cash coming your way. One sign of the economy's health, the stock markets ending the day on another positive note. The Dow gained another 495 points. CBS 4's Natalie Brand has late details on that stimulus bill from Washington. Senators are trying to iron out final sticking points in a $2 trillion bipartisan bill aimed at saving the economy during the coronavirus crisis. Struggling Americans are going to go to their mailboxes and find four-figure checks to help with their bills. Why? Because the Senate stepped up. The vote delayed this evening by a last-minute snag as a handful of GOP senators raised concern about the increased unemployment funds and what it could mean for some workers in some states. The American people do not think you should get paid more money to not work than to work. I, I don't think it'll create incentives. Most Americans, what they want, they want to keep their jobs. The stimulus package negotiated with the White House includes a cash payment of up to $1,200 for most working Americans and $500 for children. It also expands unemployment insurance for an additional 13 weeks and boosts the benefits by $600 for up to four months. The plan also contains nearly $400 billion and loans and grants to small businesses to keep workers on the payroll. President Trump says once the legislation passes the Senate, then the House, he will sign it immediately. The president again talked today about possibly reopening sections of the country, but New York remains the U.S. epicenter. Governor Andrew Cuomo says the rate of growth in coronavirus hospitalizations has slowed somewhat, but he reiterated that a critical shortage of life-saving ventilators remains a major problem. As the death toll grows, a temporary morgue is being built in case the city's permanent morgues become full. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House.